Good morning YouTube, Squire here with Actually Not Included, um, heat update. So I went away last time and had a look, good look at my base design, um, which I'd worked out was not working at all because this basic concept required one gas pump and one liquid pump per room, which is basically this capacity, uh, and then an additional gas pump and liquid pump to process the air and oxy um, oxygen and water to send it back round. So this room alone was uh, 480, 960 watts. Um, so to get this kind of capacity, I'd need another uh, another 960 to get like that. So for this, it's around. Um, Basically over 2,000 watts, well over 2,000 watts, just to get, just to get this basic running. It's not including having the micro musher, refrigerator, uh, electrolyzers, all this other stuff, <coughs> uh, which was not really workable anyway. And then with the added uh, capacity on the wires, it's, it's further restricted. Oh yeah, not including the gas filters either. Um, so I took a look at what all the other YouTubers were doing, which is like a, a big room like this, uh, with separated, plenty of air, uh, air ventilation and separation, and it works really well. Um, it doesn't look like it right now. I basically got complacent. The uh, I had a good water supply here. I had a plan for a, um, a, way, a polluted water purification here, which kind of worked. Um, so what I was going to do is use the uh, water tepidizer here, dripping contaminated water in, water tepidizer heats the water up, steam vents up here, I had some gas um, tiles here, so it would condense here, form water in, on the gas tiles of this pump, and this pump put it, would put it back into the system. Unfortunately, since I've, I heard somewhere that the water tepidizer could produce steam, but uh, obviously they've patched it since and it stops at 87 degrees, um, so you can't produce steam with it, which is mildly annoying, but um, never mind. Uh, I have to deal with that, but I'd spent too long dealing with it because um, my second idea was these mesh tiles. So the amount of water in here when it was just up to that one tile there was immense. So the plan was to make this a collection to filter in by l allowing a warm air into here. So we've got all this ice and snow, polluted ice, granite. So there's granite protecting it, so I've removed the granite and that didn't give me enough heat to put in, so I've got a coal plant in, which we'll talk about in a minute. And and that's still not producing enough heat. There was a bit of drip from after it was polluted, so and it also it kind of bugged a bit. There was a massive drip, so the load came down here, uh, and the water coming down and hitting this kind of made the water in here start appearing around here, and then when I looked later on, it was empty. So it was the, the water dripping had managed to empty the water that was already there. Oops. Never mind. Um, so I've resorted to the good old liquid pump. Water purifier, deposit back in. Unfortunately, shit had already gone, hit the fan at that point. So I've got two rotten duplicates in my water, so it's instantly polluted water. I've got filters running uh, in the process of being built, so I hope they'll be able to pump that through. And I've got some tasteful memorials, so I can get these bodies shifted. But okay. Hopefully, I might, I might just pull it back. There was, there was a point where everyone was starving, I had about 12 duplicates. This, I was running on 8 for ages, this was not a problem, uh, I didn't have any issues with um, oxygen, didn't have any issues with food. These these 8 points with um, mealwood in, combined with the microbe musher creating rice loaf, basically set me with, um, normally had around 20,000 calories. Uh, the, there was points when there was the three harvests had been done and they planted new seeds, which takes longer to grow, where I dropped about 4,000, at which point I, I built seven 
or so of the um, mush bar and then stuck more ice love Life love back on auto and that was fine and I got back up to a surplus. So this all the reason this all went tits up is I was half doing half solving my water problem but not. I've been a bit lazy about that. And then the built this base with one injective, so I wanted this to be running smoothly and then I was gonna plan I call this the steam cleaner colony because the idea was I had all this ice I wanted plan to do is just dig right down, all the way down, hit magma, get all this hot air in here, which will filter up into all this ice, air, ice area. So these massive veins of ice would be overheated, turn into water and just flood out and then it'd, it'd clear huge sections with just steam. Um, but by the time I got down here, uh, duplicates were starving, I'd run out of mealwood, so I was having to plant um, bristle blossom, I had no water so my electrolyzers weren't working, all my carbon air scrubber, air scrubber was not working yet, um, so I have to quickly hash this in, so I've got a liquid pump here, and then this is just slowing me feeling, the other, the other issue I had is I got the water here up to 87, eight it didn't work, I thought sorry I'll just um, utilize this as an oxygen production point because I had two puffs in here so I thought I'd take that out, let the puffs come up here maybe drop a duplicate in to die and just have an excellent oxygen production plant in this bit unfortunately puffs don't survive 87 degree water flowing over them and they instantly disappeared um, so that, <laughs> that didn't work nearly had a flooding incident with this because I needed to grab some gold on me. But yeah, so I've done all that. <coughs> the other thing I wanted to check out is Wolframite. So I've got these gas permeable tiles. These were tests. So this one, uh, this is the Wolframite one. This is Wolframite. Uh, have I replaced them all? Not copper or gold amalgam. So gold amalgam. Let's have a quick look on here. So we've got iron ore. Doesn't seem to do anything. Um, I'll film one of them, we'll have a look at that. I'll stick that, I'll stick you there. Um, we'll look at that later. So we've got gold amalgam, we know adds overheat temperature by 50%. Wolframite shows nothing. And copper ore adds plus 10 decor. So I wondered, I was wondering what the wolframite did. So I've built one of each to have a look. So the copper, uh, spe heat, specific heat capacity 0.386 joules. Thermal conductivity 4.5, melting point, blah blah blah. Info: overheat temperature 75 degrees, meltdown temperature 26 degrees. This one. Gas permeable tile, copper ore, gold amalgam. There we are. So overheat temperature 125. So obviously it's 75 plus 50 percent which that doesn't work out. Uh, I'm sure it should be 112, but I'm not going to complain. Uh, minus 5 deco, oh yeah, a... oh, Okay. Gold has a better deco rating than them. Um... What? That doesn't work out. So the base value of the deco for a mesh tile is minus 5. Copper ore adds 0.1 which results in minus 5.5 whereas the gold has a base value of 5, gold didn't add anything so it results in 5 that's, that's so that needs fixing um, specific heat capacity 0.15 kilojoules, thermal conductivity 2, melting point blah 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 yeah so you can get to high temperature without it melt there uh, overheating and a high temperature without it melting down oh no it still melts down at that one, never mind <coughs> just a higher capacity for overheating. But what I'm looking at here is a heat specific heat capacity 0.3. I'm sure that's changed. I'm sure that was 1. I'm sure it was the same as gold. 1.5. 1. So gold has a lower capacity. It's um, the amount of energy required to raise a substance temperature. Well, if you have a look at wolframite, it is also 0.3. They've changed that. I swear they've changed that. I swear that was 0.1 copper was 0.1 when I built this, but anyway, 
So it has 0.3, which means it needs more energy to heat up. Now this coal plant I've had at priority 8, so it's con constantly running, and it's been constantly running for about 20-30 cycles. Look at its temperature. 34 degrees. Now ordinarily, that would be that would melt down with two cycles after running continuously. Or not melt down, overheat. But now it's uh okay, it's staying nice and cool. It was a point basically it was it was constantly minus. Um I, I built this with the idea of heating this area up with wolframite. Let's see it's let's check details more from that yet. Uh, mm, makes no sense. I don't know. Specific heat capacity. Details. Specific heat capacity. This does not make any sense. This is random, random values. But anyway, I built this wall for my. I didn't have any issue with the heat. I don't know why it's showing completely different values to when I built it now. Um, but yeah, I think I might be able to pull this colony back from the brink. Um, I've got 10,000 calories stored away. Plenty of power. Running low on coal, I think. Though. Yeah. Um, Got some plants going on, got some pumps going, I'll get this finished and then these finished I should be able to uh, pull it back then, so I'll get, let it keep running. <coughs> but yeah, I've built everything, I've built a bit of everything, I've done all the research, um, so I've deconstructed my research places. I basically had absolutely no issue up to about cycle 70, cycle 80, other than my plan for the... Um, Polluted water processing. Oh, I can't speak. I've had to build some outhouses down here because uh, obviously I have no water to operate these lavatories at the moment. I stuck a few duplicates on stress tables. I'm not needed for uh, Details, details. Uh, more plus ten. Oh, more is actually give a bonus to Deco. It's a shame about the rotting nails. So yeah, if you want to build your own base, I recommend this. Oh, no duplicate. The other thing I did when starting this base is I went for no one with less than five learning on the basis that everyone's doing everything at the start. So if they're good at learning from the beginning, you just end up with a colony of duplicates that are quite good at everything, in theory. Uh, I can't show you that because half of them are now dead. Uh, <laughs> later on I did take on some that are just really good at arts for... Um, Checklist super stats and details. No, that's it, that's fine. Um, yeah, so I have one that's like 11 arts in the process, but she now like, resides there with her five more friends. Food shortage. That's a six. That's a six. So they're cracking on with that. Hopefully I'll get that done before. The other thing I was trying to do is, um, obviously with all the power capacity issues, I thought I could have a little battery bridge. So, max watch set. So it's taking 600 at the moment. So that's overheating now, unfortunately. I might rebuild that in a bit with some wolframite. Um, so we've got heavy watt wire. 
Right, look, on here the circuit status 600, 840, 600. On here it's 360, 600. Yeah, so these two feeds do actually get power from each other, but at the same time, th this side of the battery is separate from this side of the battery. So I've done it a few times, so like here we've got. So all this feed connects to this battery, this battery connects to this battery, and then this battery has its own separate area. Like this one. So this um, electrolyzer is on its own separate circuit with this battery, so look if it's that capacity. Content, uh, da -da -da, circuit status 240. Should yeah, that's fine. Probably a lot of diseases because he's not too polluted to all high hell. Oh, got that first accent. Right, uh, what, where did I have it going? Water. some water and throw it into the system. So I really need to sort these bodies out basically. Uh, I'll let calories build up to about 20,000, stress ain't too bad. Look, I've got like, art all over the place so when there's not a dead body lying in the middle of the room, fantastic. The decor engine and the dead bodies is ridiculous. This, uh, stats. Oh, you can see stats, huh? 12 athletics, then 0. Well, that must have been one I've got later on. Oh, yes, stats. Right, learning 5, 50, 14 athletics. The core radius 7. Yeah. The uh, deco status must be a multiplier. To explain the copper, because looking on the stats, deco radius 7, rotting plus 4, uh, plus 3, uh, and it's plus 3 base. Alright, so because she's rotting, her deco radius increases by 3. Right, so I've got I've still got a few hamster wheels to keep the uh, food, uh, no. building over here. Plus. Right, so once I sort out the dead bodies, the next issue is going to be that overheating battery. These morphs are going to help that. Um, Carbon dioxide, polluted oxygen up here. So morphs consume whatever gas is in the air and then produce polluted oxygen. So if you've got carbon dioxide down here, this morph is actually going to consume carbon dioxide and produce polluted oxygen. Which, whilst giving it not pure oxygen, then gives a chance of. Constantly. So, if they overheat, the basic issue you have to deal with is that they damage themselves. So, as soon as they overheat, 
they damage themselves, the latest update, they automatically repair. Try a wolf on that one there, however. <coughs> yeah, so they automatically go to repair it, which means it takes some copper or whatever it's made of. Um, so if you have something that's overheating, stop it as soon as possible or get rid of it because it's basically just going to deplete your supply of um, or whatever resource it's made of. Uh, oh, 28, fantastic. Right, let's get these going. Go, go, go. 60, 40, right, I'll get has I'll get them too, so 60, Ruby, and has sand. Sorted. So these need thimble weed <coughs> to create create stuff. And five kilo, five kilo, five kilo. Yeah, they have a decor rating as well. So the warm sweater is less decor, and so is the cool vest. But the snazzy suit has a plus thirty. So if you dress everyone in a snazzy suit, and Dobby Dozy. I might be going overkill with these. I'm not. I do have a lot of dead bodies. So this colony totally went tits up for a moment and managed to kind of pull it back. If I keep this up, we can. Ah. not know that. Build, 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 build. Yeah, so I was like dug all the way down here through that ice. All the way down here. I had a bit of a water issue. Water issue. Ah, key lock. Water, water issue following me, so I like, just dumped into there and built down here. It's since broken out and come down here. I've flooded this even further still. Just slightly now. Um, so this liquid, that's 442 degrees, 42.5, slowly cooling, 24, yeah, so it's got all this cool water coming in, so that idea is basically a um, bit of snag. I might return to that later, it's, it takes a lot of digging out there. Once I, once I get this system running smoothly, diarrhea. Seriously, I've got any fresh water going. Right? The other thing I want to do is get, a, get this bottom bit swept. You're not as important anymore. <coughs> These are sixes. Yeah. Yeah, so when I had um, eight meal wood running here, the I had one refrigerator, so the half refrigerator to fill the refrigerator. Then the micro mushroom would take it and convert it into a lice loaf, and the refrigerator would be half full. But the capacity of those eight meal would have basically doubled. Tempted, but no, I'm going to stick with eight. I know that's stable. 
The details, rest of it fine. That wow. Three really fat on this one. Well, no. Now that one, that's cool. Minus 15 decor, decor is 3, overheat temperature. There's an overheat temperature for greystone. So I've got a few of these filled in. So straight down. This is all getting swept. I've no dead bodies. My only issue now is I've no power. I'm guessing the coal plants out of coal. Yep. as well. So I've got a steady supply of water coming down now. <coughs> so I've got these gas permeable tiles and um, because I didn't want the water coming down this side I want to do straight into this bit really. And he's picking up there. What is this coming from? So I keep getting this, and I have no idea why. Uh, let's try this. Let's look at the tile in there. I don't think the bridges could go in there. Let's have a quick look at this. Can I build a bridge in here? Ah, excellent. That is always annoyed me. We can now build bridges and walls. Fantastic. Let's see, I've only. Uh, Overbuilt by four. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dead duplicates. There's another one here that is unreachable. Right here. And has five more friends. And that can even select it. But yeah, look at these guys, like they're underwater, so they're constantly jumping out. 
My own life is still fresh. Oh, there was a plant there. It's supposed to be flooded. And died. Go to broken. Oh, where are that one? That's like the water. Right, so I've got fresh water coming in. Watch it get instantly polluted. Oh, no. Um, what are you doing, water pump? Molten. <laughs> this is okay. Um, thank you. <laughs> so I was trying to pump molten glass around my place. Uh, it's a new one. Uh, oh, what I love about these. So look at the options you've got. Uh, Carbon, carbon dioxide, chlorine, copper, crude oil, gold, helium, hydrogen, iron, magma, mercury, molten glass. Magma? What kind of liquid pipes are you going to need for that? Uh, oxygen, phosphorus, polluted water, propane, steel, tungsten. So yeah, the like, included capacity for pretty much anything. Which makes you wonder what they're going to do with the future of the game. So you're running, power my batteries, got the system going. Got fresh water going through my cy cycle. Um, let's get this mopped. Before it contaminates. And stick a uh, power out in this. See if that solves anything. I have no idea where that polluted water's coming from. Unless it's dripping. Gas burning, tile, sandstone. Oh, this keeps breaking. It must be this. Um, it's going to be a bit ugly, but let's do. So we've got it looks nice. Granite right, plus five deco. Obsidian, igneous rock. Right, sedimentary rock doesn't seem to have any bonus. Sandstone plus 10. Wolframite plus 2000 degrees overheat temperature. Uh, a bit slight, even, sorry. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, see, it's building. That's what it is. Right, prioritize. Six. Yeah, so water has a lot more capacity to. Um, mess stuff up now. I'll leave that thing there anyway. Oh yeah. That should stop that issue now. Bit ugly but oh well. <coughs> so it's gonna bring some polluted water in but hopefully with the filter system. It'll be added into my reservoir. At which point the pump will bring it up, shoot it back out again. So I can basically use this as a continuous supply of additional polluted water into this stock. Stock. Filtration media: fifty-three thousand seven hundred seventy-three kilograms. I don't think I've got an issue with the filtration medium. Breathable is getting a lot better now, look at that. Are you running? No power. Right. I would like another power source. Like an actual one, so we've got manual generator, cool, coal generator, yeah, hydrogen generator. I'd like, like a, a thermal vent or So it'd be like really cool if we could have hydro hydro systems. It's like what I've got here. I stuck like I've had one like here, so the water dripping through built up there, and then went through a turbine fan there. So I was generating power as it's filling water there. That'd be cool. It won't be too broken because it won't be. If you had to, wanted to make it an infinite loop, you'd have to stick a liquid pump in, which is draining 240 watts. And as long as you don't have it like 
producing more than 240 watts say just have like a single tile thing that gives say 50 watts what do these add? and then run on the heat So these add 400 watts running. Yeah, stay like 100 watts. So you have. Uh -huh, maybe. Don't know if we've got like a capacity of energy or something. Like they monitor the amount of energy it takes to overheat something. So I'm wondering if it has like a energy input level they could possibly use for something that's falling so the further it falls the more energy it has and then the hydro the hydro generator takes a proportion of that I'm rambling um, yeah so these are all crap um, what you can actually do I love the athletics ain't too bad so if you found one you like and you don't have the capacity at the moment, if you just close that, there will be exactly the same duplicates again. See? Uh, I don't like any of them then though. You will have to put up with the sound of the uh, pod running, but oh well. Better than nothing. Alright, so bodies are out, bottom's clear, got water pumping in. I don't want to let it build up a bit before I let pump carry on. Let's have a look. So this one pump is providing three electrolyzers, one carbon dioxide scrubber, two bathroom, two bath lavatories and one shower. Water, 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 building up nicely. That is the bigger restriction. So I need more power in basically. So I could guess. Wow. Yeah, so any oxygen captured up here gets put back into the system and comes out down here. Fluid oxygen is getting filtered out at the moment. Uh, sorry, this one takes out hydrogen, so any hydrogen goes down here. All the rest gets pumped into here, this takes any out any oxygen, and no all polluted oxygen gets pumped into here. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that breathable air in there. So the outside is actually better breathability than the inside. That's because of all the polluted oxygen. So we're going to do some harvesting. Is that all of them? Yeah. The mobs don't fight back, which is handy. They like hatches. Goes back up and nice. The more sort of improving it, but oh well. Uh, I could probably do this some more. Right, so I'm only having to get these deconstructed, don't need these anymore. That's diary, that's fine. Um, it's been built, 14 calories, a little bit low with that for the time being. I do have capacity in these. That's fine. <coughs> so I've got dining tables for everyone, I've got massage tables for everyone, I've got beds for everyone. Do I have anyone who's good at that? 12, excellent. Right. Let's get some artwork working on. Fortunately, it isn't granite. Oh, the 
start from that. Oh, we have to be constructing all that. Um, yeah, so granite is really good. It gives um, good deco bonuses. And the other thing about Wolframite, um, I was promising you a secret, but my secret seems to have bugged for some reason. Um, Wolframite can be used in piping. So as well as being um, an electrical component, it is also a piping component. So it is uh, quite versatile. So you can build instruments like coal generators or research stations with Wolframite. You can build wiring with Wolframite and you can build um, plumbing with Wolf Wolframite. Uh, I'm going to try and grab some more coal, that's iron ore, insufficient oxygen generation, fair enough, obsidian, kind of want to explore this bit, so, I've got this theory that chlorine purifies polluted water, um, let's that dig, no, now that's dig out again. So I want you to like just dump all this water, polluted water into this chlorine pit here. We've got some big news for rock. I'm sure there'll be some bleach stone down here, given the um, size of the amount of chlorine which is actually produced by the bleach stone. With uh, wheeze water here. Him as well. So the other thing I was looking for was a geyser. So I have to dig up here to get to the see if there's anything. Good amount of resources. Coal generator needs coal. We don't know where that already though. No coal not coming out here as well. City of city. Oh, oh. Uh, no, Can I build a ladder over? No. Yeah, so the I would reinforce this personally because the amount of pressure that, w that water applies to sandstone now is ridiculous. So if I had even just one layer of this, this, this would not hold up two seconds without all this under support. Granite, sedimentary rock, let's do sedimentary. Um, so I'm going to stick that there. So if it that is sand, so that's going to drop out if you have a farm yet. Farm, mine. So I'm going to stick this as a backup plan. So if it should happen to fall out, I'm already in the process of building a second layer. So yes, yeah, so a too strong would um, plant. So look at this. This is not even too high, and it's pushing through this water, this wall here. So I'm 104, still surviving. Eight dead, eight running. Got plans in place. Uh, I'm gonna let them run through. If uh, shit hit the fan again, I'll oops, start blogging again. Start filming again, even blogging. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna call it call it a night there, or a morning, and I'll speak to you another time. Sorry about the wolf might not being um, just just. Uh, so now you know that. So right, that did not go up anyway. Yeah, rambling again. I swear something's changed since I loaded this. Anyway, um, thanks for watching YouTube. In a bit.